All right, when we think about the CASP, it is the um, CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner Exam. What exactly is this exam? Because again, um, now some say that it rivals the CISS, excuse me while I adjust this light over here. Some say that it rivals the CISSP. Um, I wouldn't say it rivals the CISSP. I would say it is its own test and take it for what it is. The CASP is a exam that is more specialized. This is for the individual who doesn't want to be in management, but rather wants to continue the role as a technical cybersecurity expert, and they want to stay technical. Okay, they don't necessarily want to be in management where the CISSP does cover some managerial principles, okay? So, here we are. Advanced level cybersecurity certification for security architects and senior security engineers that are charged with leading and improving an enterprise's cybersecurity readiness. Now, one thing I really did like about the CIS ASP was, again, it was very technical. Um, unlike other certifications, CASP covers both security architecture and engineering. Okay, they go on to say that it's the only certification on the market that qualifies technical leaders to assess cybersecurity readiness with an enterprise and design and implement the proper solutions. Okay, okay, I don't want to bore you out there, but um, okay, so it's saying it's the most up to date and advanced level cybersecurity certification on the market. Okay. Um, covers cloud, hybrid environments, governance risk, does uh, cover compliance skills, so on and so forth. So here is the issue that I feel is not up to par with the CASP and it has nothing to do with the test, okay? I, I believe CompTIA is an exceptional certification uh, company, all right? I think their material is spot on. they always updating their tests. In fact, the last Security Plus test is, I think, 40% more comprehensive. That is the 601, by the way, which I also um, have. I think it's like 40% more comprehensive, very up-to-date. And that's, I think, they began that last year. The previous one was a 501. Um, but the thing about the CASP, it is not um, a test that is um, very ubiquitous. It's not a test that human resources is really that aware of. Okay, uh, the CISSP is something that really the marketing machine has put out there. Uh, years ago and it's just caught on a lot of people know about it and if you mention something to let's say a higher man hiring manager you can say like okay I have the CASP which is uh, pretty much equivalent and even advanced in some cases to the CISSP they they really don't know what the CISP is now some do but there's just too many out there that don't know what the CASP is that would be the only downside in my eyes is it's not, it's just not well known. All right. Now, as far as the test and the things that you'll learn, I would definitely say if you are in an, on an advanced level and let's say uh, you don't have an employer that's going to vouch for the five years experience that uh, is required for the CISSP, or frankly, you just don't want to pay that amount, okay, because uh, I believe that's about doubled of what the CASP test is, then I would say, you know, just just 
um, go for the CASP and I think eventually it's going to catch on because it's 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 very technical and, and it's an exceptional um, certification and it's really an opportunity to further yourself um, and prove to an organization that yes I have my certified ethical hacker I have my pen test plus I have my security plus um, let's just say give an, an example um, and I also have my CASP so it's showing yeah you have all the basics but wait you want to step further to get that advanced certification so that's why I like it um, Okay, so this is this is more. I just scrolled down. It's talking about the Security Plus, but here's some jobs. Whoops, sorry. Let me go ahead and minimize myself here. All right, all right. So here's some jobs that you can expect to get with the CompTIA CASP Plus. Of course, if they know about it. Um, SO SOC Manager, Cyber Risk Analyst. Okay, CISO, um, security architect, and a cybersecurity engineer. So definitely um, on the, a lot is um, touched on the area of designing infrastructure, uh, creating a, a relevant infrastructure um, to match the risk and basically establishing that defense even from a hardware standpoint. So hardware and software, it's kind of giving that individual the fundamental knowledge and testing them on that necessity to kind of set up the whole shebang of an organization from a security standpoint. So absolutely uh, very technical. Um, I think it's very rewarding if you get it, providing the hiring manager or your current employee knows about um, the difficulty to obtain this certification so that's all i'm going to um touch base on 